Hey guys, Brandon here, and I thought I'd make a video today comparing two drones I have because uh, recently I just got this. This is the new DJI Mavic Pro uh, uh, Fly More package, and I've been waiting for this thing since like November, so it's been a couple months, and it finally came in. I've only had it for a few days, and every single day I have flown it pretty much all three batteries multiple times. Uh, so I got some decent experience with that over the week. Uh, but I also have had this for about a year and a half, which is my uh, DJI Inspire 1. Uh, that's probably the first thing to note is the size difference, but we'll get to that. But what inspired me, no pun intended, to make this video was I've had this for a year and a half, and I've loved it. It's done everything I've asked it to do. I got it for back when, you know, I got it a year and a half ago. They sold for $3,000. Now they go for about, let's say, $2,000, maybe less than that, $1,500 to $2,000 used. Um, so even then, I'm not mad that I took a hit, it's expected with the camera gear, but it's done everything I've asked it to, it's incredible, and then when I put an order on this thing, I had the full intent to keep this uh, alongside each other. This is going to be more for the professional shoots, it's obviously not the easiest thing to take around, while this is the just in case factor I could fly it around, but from the title you can probably suggest that the main question of this video is, is it time to sell the Inspire now because this thing can do its job just as well. So. I know I've had that for about a year and a half and this only for less than a week, so uh, I've tried to fly this as much as possible, not that hard, it's a lot of fun, uh, just to get as much experience as possible. And to make this video not so boring, I will interrupt it with some pictures and videos I've taken of this with the week I've had it, and then obviously my ownership of this, uh, some other video. And I'll tell you guys which is which on the bottom, the Mavic or the Inspire. But as you guys know, I'm, I don't do this professionally, I don't review camera equipment uh, and drones for that matter professionally. So I am more like you. I'm not like Philip Bloom and all that stuff where they just make a, a living doing this kind of stuff. I'm just a consumer, probably like you guys right now. Um, so I know this isn't really a, uh, a comparison that makes total sense. These are two different drones in the lineup and this one just got replaced by the Inspire 2 as we know. So the reason I'm making this video is let's say you're cross shopping. Do you pay $1,500 to $2,000 for the Inspire or do you pay $1,300 or a little over that for the Fly More Pack? Uh, or less than a thousand for the Mavic uh, without that fly more pack. So that's what we're going to get to, the, to this video, just kind of going through some of my experience. Like I said, when I got the Mavic, I had the full intent to keep this. Uh, now uh, the answer is probably, I'll probably be selling it. The reason is, I expected that this would be some, that there'd be a, a give and take, that there would be some excuse with this thing. It, it flies good for the size it is, or the quality is good for the size. No, it's, it's just good. It's just good. It, it compares directly to my Inspire. And I expected the Inspire to be better as far as the camera quality. I'm not saying that is bad. It's just that both of these are really good. So I, I expected it to, because it's smaller, it's not going to handle the wind better. That's also not true. I flew on it in very high winds and it handled like a champ. Anyway, I just kind of want to run through some of the pros uh, that the Mavic has over it. Uh, one is the obvious size. So yeah, as you can see, uh, in this case, in this little bag alone, you would think it's like a, a lens bag for a DSLR. Um, in this bag alone, I have the Mavic, the, and we'll unbox, we'll, we'll take this out uh, in just a second, but we have the Mavic, the controller, and three batteries, and some extra propellers, but that's all you really need to get up and fly. The, uh, con the uh, cable to connect the iPhone to the controller is already embedded in the controller itself. So everything that I need to fly is literally right there, super, super light, and just crazy portable. You could take this without intending to use it, and you won't feel like you wasted your time and energy. On the other hand, we got this big old thing. This is the Inspire. Uh, I knew what I was getting into when I got the Inspire, so obviously uh, I just didn't think that they would come out with something as good as a Mavic. But this big old thing, much heavier, the strap broke, so I'm using a shoelace, which cuts my hand. Uh, but anyway, a pretty good case that came with it. I have two batteries in here and the controller, a dedicated cable just to connect the controller to my phone. Um, that should be it. That's pretty much all I need to fly. And the controller, of course, if I didn't mention that. Uh, and so I have an extra battery in here than I do in that and I don't need the extra cable. Uh, so, like I said, you would think that there's a give and take. Maybe the battery life isn't as good. They advertise 27 minutes, obviously it's not quite like that, but it's significantly better. They advertise 18 minutes on this thing and you don't get that. You, they advertise 27 on this, you don't get that. Real world stuff, uh, flying outside, I will get, it, it's, it's hilarious seeing my 30% battery warning go off on this and it still says I have like 5 minutes left. Because 5 minutes left for me is like, oh shoot, I still have 5 minutes left, that's plenty. Uh, but yeah, just it, it's all, you know, relative. The battery life, it, it's crazy seeing the, the scale go to like half and it still says I have like 10 minutes or so. 
and I just think that battery life. I mean, I get, I, I, I get, I start stalling when I'm flying the Mavic because I'm like, oh, what do I do? I've already taken pictures. I've already taken video. What else do I do? With with the Inspire, honestly, every flight I've had, I feel a little rushed. I'm like, do I do pictures? Do I do video? I don't know. So yeah. Anyway, moral of the story. Much better battery life with the Inspire. I'm sorry, with the Mavic. So you would think, okay, it's more, uh, it's more portable. Uh, the battery life is better. Maybe the range, the signal isn't as good. Uh, wrong again. Uh, I don't think I forgot what they're what it's called, but on the Inspire they were using Lightbridge to connect the uh, point of view flying and all that kind of stuff. And I think they moved on to something else. I forgot what it's called with the Mavic. And oh my goodness, it is unbelievable. I have flown further than I have ever with my. Uh, with my Inspire, in the year and a half I've owned it, I've already doubled that range with this. Not because it can fly double the length, I'm just more confident with it. There, the latency, no glitches, no skipped frames, uh, no warnings. I have flown, the furthest I've done is only three quarters of a mile, which is far for me. Uh, I'm just not used to flying too far. But it had absolutely no problems. And I went below the tree line, I had a lot of like interference, like as far as trees and like behind houses and stuff, I went a little low, three quarters of a mile away, and nothing dropped. It was so, I was so confident flying the thing. So the range is better. And obviously with that for the range, obviously that, that complements the better battery life. So you can bring it home, even if you're a couple miles out. You go on YouTube um, and t at the end of this video, type in range tests, real world people that are not associated with DJI, they are getting some pretty unbelievable range and they're having to bring it back because they're going to close to 50% of their battery. Uh, so now it's like a, a war between, you know, the, the, the signal and the battery life which both of them are really great on the Mavic, better than the Inspire. And so I mentioned the size. Let's go ahead and just take it out of this little box here. So I have one battery on the side here, one battery on the side here, and then one already connected to the drum. You go ahead and take that Velcro off. Go ahead and do this. And then here it is, the folded up Mavic. And we'll just talk about the, the quicker setup. So like I said, there's more to just the size and the lightness and all that that goes with it. It's the setup too. Uh, as you guys know with the Inspire, it raises up and down so the propellers are out of the way of the camera, which is very nice, but it makes the setup a little long. You have to raise it up, then put the camera on it, and then turn it back on, and when you're setting, uh, when you're packing up, you have to take the camera off while it's up, and then click, 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 and then it goes back flat so you can put it in the box. With this, it just is what it is. It folds out, and then, I'm holding it there, and then it folds down on these two arms. And then you don't have to stretch out the or pull out the propellers. I'll just do it once they start spinning. And there it is. You have to take off your protective dome there, and then you are ready. You can just put it down, and then you just connect your phone, and it's the same process. But that's it. I'm just talking about making it ready to fly. The propellers are already on there. Everything with this, you have to do it all manually. Um, so yeah, that's just the ease of use that comes with it. So it's not just the size, the lightness. It's the quickness. How quickly you could just. Improv too, you think, oh, you know what, that might make a good shot, and it doesn't take long. With this, I'm like, that makes a good shot, but I'm a little lazy, maybe I won't. It's just the ease of use with this. I have not even traveled on vacation with this thing. You could bet I'm going to do it with this one, just because of the ease of use. Uh, so I think, obviously, that's the big thing, and uh, you guys knew that. I don't have to keep on talking about the ease of use and the portability of this, but you would think that there's a give and take. Like I said, video quality, pictures, well, it's still a 12 megapixel camera, just like the uh, Zemius X3 with my Inspire. And, uh, and what else? 4K video. Uh, well, 4K. It's still really good. Uh, but it's no better or worse than the Inspire. And for what? So, so now I'm kind of going back and forth going, what's the point of keeping my Inspire around? To the Inspire's credit, and I'm talking about the Inspire too, that thing is unbelievable. Uh, and I'll get to that. But my Inspire, what it has going for it is, it is bigger, which will make it better for handling the wind. So obviously the Mavic's going to have to fight the wind a little bit more, but even when it's fighting the wind, the battery life is still better than mine uh, on, a, uh, on a windless day. So, and it doesn't shake the footage up that much. I mean, take a look at some of this uh, I got over uh, this little bridge, and, uh, uh, and it was really windy this day, and I had an intelligent flight mode set, I had point of interest, and it just captured that shot beautifully with no crazy uh, camera movements. Um, and so that's really cool. So again, is there a give and take here? What else? Uh, let me think of another pro with the Inspire. Um, it's got uh, changeable ND filters, and so I did some research and I found that there are some that you can put on the Mavic that just clicks over it, but because the, the, the gimbal and the camera is so finicky and small with the Mavic, uh, the, the calibration of the gimbal gets thrown off a lot, and it's just not the best thing for it from what I heard. So obviously the Inspire 1 is set better for screwing on an ND filter. Uh, that's pretty beneficial. Uh, but I feel like the, the biggest benefit I would need going to Inspire is like, you know, 
being able to manually adjust my aperture. And obviously you have to go to a Zemmius X5. That's another benefit with an Inspire is you can change the cameras. But I thought about keeping this and just buying an X5, but obviously the X5s haven't dipped in price like these because you could use those on the Inspire 2. Let's talk about the Inspire 2. I want one real badly, but they're incredibly expensive. The reason I'm planning on selling my Inspire 1 is because this Mavic does everything that does and more. Uh, I've thought about this quite a bit and it just does. This thing will do everything that I need from my Inspire while at that time the Inspire 2 will probably dip in price just as the Inspire 1 did. Not by, you know, as much as this did because it is, you know, with the X5 and I would obviously get the X5, but I think the ideal drone setup would be the Mavic and an Inspire 2 with the Zemmius X5, the full blown kit. I mean, just the, the, the dual cameras, the, the main X5 and then the uh, FPV camera, so you could look at what you're seeing with the Active Track Pro. That Inspire 2 is unbelievable and it's no, you know, more of a hassle to bring with you than the Inspire 1. It's the same size. So that's my ideal drone setup. This and an Inspire 2, uh, but obviously the reason I don't have an Inspire 2 is because it's expensive. So that's why I'm selling this, is just to clear up some room. And this thing, with the first week I've had with it, less than that, <clears throat> sorry, less than that, I'm already impressed by it and, I mean, it's only getting better and better every flat I have. I manually kind of put in all my video settings, my, uh, my uh, uh, picture profile, uh, everything. So where now I'm able to color correct all my footage and uh, hopefully, um, I don't know how I'm going to edit this video yet, but during this whole video I showed you guys some of the footage. Uh, pretty much, I think, I, I can make a dedicated video on just my picture profile and settings and all that good stuff, but I think I'm on negative two sharpness, negative two contrast, negative one saturation, and I'm shooting in, uh, I don't know, one of the first two. I think Simulike, and I've done a little bit of D-Log, and I'm on Colorista on the Magic Bullet Suites for Final Cut, and uh, color correcting some of my uh, footage. As far as pictures, uh, that is, make, I make sure I'm in like the longer aspect ratio, I forgot what that is. Uh, it's not the square one, whatever aspect ratio that is. And then I, uh, and I'm shooting raw, and that gives me just as much latitude editing my pictures as my Inspire 1. Again, making me think, why should I keep my Inspire 1? Now, I mentioned the intelligent flight modes. Uh, the Inspire 1, quite a while ago, went through an update to where you have some intelligent flight modes, point of interest, waypoints, all the good stuff. I don't know how many, I should, I should have looked at this before I started recording, but I'm too lazy. Uh, I don't know how many more intelligent flight modes this has over the Inspire. All I do know is this does have tripod mode, and I've never seen that with the Inspire, so I don't believe the Inspire even has a tripod mode. But this one definitely does, and how cool is that? So you have a smaller, more nimble drone that can fit into more places anyway. And then you can put tripod mode on the intelligent flight mode, and it will limit your speed to, I forget if it was two or two and a half miles an hour, so you could crank the right stick all the way to the left, and it's gonna move nice and slow, all your settings, are. All your uh, you know uh, camera adjustments, and all that stuff, are very very nice and slow. So that makes for cool stuff. So again, more intelligent flight modes. What else? Uh, another obvious thing, just like or as important as the size difference, it is less expensive. Um, but again, the reason I'm making this video is because I own both. And also, you might be cross shopping. Huh? I'm going to pay like fourteen, thirteen hundred bucks for a Mavic. I'm not far off from an Inspire One. Is it worth that jump because it's an Inspire? You make your decision. Uh, I sure wouldn't. I would definitely get with. The, uh, the Mavic. I'm loving it so far. Anyway guys, uh, I hope I sustained this video with enough drone footage and pictures to make this not totally boring, but you know, I just thought I would give you guys my two cents on owning this for a short while and this for a long while. Uh, again, I don't do this professionally. I'm not a reviewer. I'm not biased. I have no reason to be. Uh, these were not sent to me for free by DJI. So I'm just speaking my opinions as a user. If you guys relate to it, fantastic. If you guys uh, are interested in buying any of these based off this video, then uh, that's great. But I just gave my opinions. I'm really, really looking forward to using this Mavic a little bit more. We we'll go ahead and fold this up now. But anyway, uh, subscribe if you guys want to see some more videos with this because I am definitely going to upload some more. I got this, like I said, a little uh, less than a week ago, but I didn't want to make an unboxing video and initial impressions because I just wanted to learn the thing really well. And in the five days I've had it, I learned a lot. So uh, I look out for some more videos. But that's it for the Mavic, and uh, unfortunately, that's it for the Inspire. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.